I'll be on some other shit It's kind of bittersweet that I fell in love with it I always felt that if I always cared about how I dress That folks would think I'm arrogant and chicks would lose interest But as it turns out, people start to notice you more You turn heads when you step and foot in the sneaker store Like where you get them, can I get them, what's the biggest size left And chicks that never would What's up everybody? It's Big Roth TV and I'm back with another sneaker video. Alright? Now, let's go ahead and get into this one, man. Woo! Almost fumbled. Almost fumbled. Alright, just got this one. This released, I want to say this was last week. I halfway passed. I halfway passed. I do like the model. You know what I mean? But I halfway passed, and then when I thought about it, they were gone from the sneakers app already. So I had to go to Shoe Palace. I went to Shoe Palace, and I was able to get them. And here they are, man. So let's go ahead and get into them. These are the AJKO1. All right. Colorway is Rush Orange and White Sail. All right. And I got these in a size 13 this time. All right. I got a few other pairs of AJKOs. I have the the uh, shadow colorway, and I have what would be like the royal colorway. And I got both of those in a size 14. And with the way that the material is on this particular shoe, they are a little long, just a, just a little bit. Like I can rock the 14 and it'd be comfortable, but I felt like a 13 would actually be a little bit better, so I went down the size of these. All right, these aren't the normal material like a regular Jordan 1. It's kind of like how Chuck Taylors are, that canvas-like material on these, all right? Man, look at the box. Already, already beat up there, but Let's go ahead and get into these. Here is the receipt for all you receipt boys out there. All right. Woo. Woo. All right. But of course, of course, you all know how I do it right here on Big Roth TV. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very nice. Very nice. Left shoe first, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The AJKO, as you can see right there on the Wings logo, AJKO. And these are that orange rush. All right. Now here's how you can look at the material. It's more like a Chuck Taylor in the material. And from my studies, I, I was wondering, man, what did the KO mean? AJKO. What did that mean? And from my studies, I realized that that stands for, or it's at least rumored to stand for, knockoff. <laughs> like. Like, Jordan Brand attempted to make their own knockoff version of the Jordan 1, and it became a good line, like a cool line that they continued to bring out. I guess they wanted to make a knockoff before somebody else did it, and that's where these come from, all right? But I like the KO line. I think they're pretty sweet. Like I said, this is now my third pair of the AJKOs. I really like this material. I feel like this combines the best of both worlds. Two of my different favorite shoe models, the, the Converse Chuck Taylor kind of material and the styling of a Jordan 1. I love both of those kind of styles. And this brings that into the same shoe. All right, you got your hit of leather up here on the collar going all the way around. This pull tab is not that collar or not the leather is kind of that canvas material there's a white leather underneath the straps here and those straps come apart there's nothing underneath the straps there's no riding on those all right but 
white leather there and the swoosh is that leather okay the rest of the shoe is that canvas like material okay which I think is a nice touch. The only thing about these is, man, I wish they would have did some of that orange back here, back here in the heel area. Give us a little bit of that orange there and there. And the shoes that I'm wearing right now, I also wish they would have did that. Why don't you just put some more orange there, man? But anyway, on the tongue, Nike. These look just like a Nike box, really. <laughs> like, the orange that that Nike box is, that's what these shoes are. So you got your regular Nike logo there. And then inside, it's white and orange as well on the insole. So those two colors are all around. They didn't add any kind of black anywhere. Just the white and orange, okay? One thing about these, I don't like how they come laced up. They come laced up like mids, almost. You know, so then you got to adjust them. And with my Jordan 1s, I usually skip a hole. Like, I lace the front one, skip one, and come to the third, and then lace the rest of the way up. But these come pre-laced already. As you can see, they do come with the white laces in case you wanted to switch them out. I don't. I don't. I'm rocking the the orange laces in there. I don't want to. I, I feel like it'd be too much with the white, so I'm gonna leave them as they are. But the midsole isn't as white as the rest of the shoe here. It's almost like an eggshell white, like a little bit off white. It's not quite as white as the rest of the shoe. And then on the bottom here, orange. Typical Jordan 1 outsole there. Great grip, great traction on these. All right. But typical Jordan 1 outsole there. All right. I like the way that the orange laces hit on these with that white. All right. But, you know what we got to do now? We got to take these boys on feet before we go on feet this is the right shoe right look at look at how yoked up this is look at how yoked up i haven't unlaced this one yet look at how yoked up that shoe is yikes all right so this is what i had on feet today these jordan one highs and this i want to say this is the electric orange colorway with the black and the orange there all right I switched out the laces and make put in the orange laces here I like that better on these to break up some of that black and white all right I think these are sweet but man they could have put some more orange or something in the back there that would have been dope but let's get these to the side and here are the KOs on feet all right and just as I suspected, the size 13 fits a lot better in these AJKOs. It's the perfect, perfect fit. Man, perfect fit. My shoes feel good. My feet feel good inside of these. Big toe right there. Right at the tip of where the orange begins. Perfect fit. Perfect width, perfect width, and everything. Man, I wish I would have got a 14 in the other, or uh, excuse me, a 13 in the other two pairs that I have of the Air Jordan AJKOs. All right, but here is that coming at ya, coming at ya. Yes, sir. Now let's go ahead and get a little bit of that booty view let's go ahead and get a little bit of that booty view for you all yes sir but anyway that's gonna do it on these yo very very dope shoe 
glad that I decided to go ahead and get these. My only concern right now with these is that with that material, this uh, canvas-like material on here where the white is, it's not gonna be as easy to keep clean as the normal pair of Jordan 1s like with the leather on them. But beyond that, I think this shoe is dope. Very dope, I love this colorway. The orange pops, and it's simple, man. I love AJKOs. I wear the hell out of mine, the other two pair that I have. They're like, I almost wanna say they're like my beaters, but they still look clean. It's like, I wore them all the time, especially the gray pair, the shadow colorway. I wear them all the time, and they still look pretty new. So in comparison to this white and orange colorway, here are my shadow and the royal pair that I have. All right. Look how these, let me put this down. Look how these still look. I've had these for like seven years. And look how these look. Six or seven years now. Wore them everywhere. I wore them all around Spain. I wore them in the US. I've worn them back here. Look how they look. They still look great. Little wipe down on the white. They still look great. These, I got these more recently, but still look great. Still look absolutely great. The only thing I worry about, like I said, is with the white on these. But these are still available in most places. So if you see them around, I would highly recommend getting them because these are just too sweet. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this one. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you have not already. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. I truly, truly appreciate it. More content is on the way. And I'll holler at you all in the next video. Peace.